Good Saturday afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire Slime Bow Jungle Adventure. Fun time, Ascension mode, probably not. I mean, I feel like it'd be pretty easy with this guy, just like a few of the other mod characters, but it's not about balance. Even though I think this character has, you know, it's its fair share of balance, even, and I even lost last round technically because it was in the heart. I don't know, maybe he's on the strong side. Regardless, do the clapping in between that. We're having a good time. It's Saturday, it took me a minute to get up and going for this one because I was up very late last night i was watching the um msi league of legends uh semi-finals i guess technically again i'm not gonna sit here and bore people with league talk i do like watching the tournaments though even though i don't play the game anymore because i'm like this is it's still entertaining it's just well beyond me because i feel like a decrepit old man compared to like the you know young spring chickens 18 through 22 that are like Check out my mechanics. I did three things in the span of like 2.2 picoseconds, and I'm sitting here like, uh, check a rare card, 100 gold, you know how it is. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm up very late. I also have to do the, uh, you know, little blurb I do anytime I beat a game on my stream, which I just beat Divinity Originals in two, by the way. Uh, you don't, you don't really have to read the thing, I just do it for my own enjoyment. Also, it gives me anxiety, because I'm like, don't, don't make your grammar make it look like you're still in the third grade, because... It's a point of embarrassment. Uh, TLDR, Divinity Original Sin 2. Very good. Very long. I would recommend playing with someone or multiple people who will see it through because it is very cumbersome to play by itself. But overall, very good game. Speaking of good games, let's play Slay the Spire. Obtain a random rare card, 100 gold. Obtain a curse for a random rare relic. Might do that. Lose your starting relic. Wait, if you lose your starting relic, then... Oh, oh no, you can still split. Yeah. Let's, um, let's go. We could, we could actually get rid of that and it wouldn't hurt us too badly, actually. Get me a random rare card. Waste not, want not, buds. Return all of your zero cost exhaust cards to your hand. All right, so we kind of have an idea what, ooh, excuse me, kind of deck we're going to make here. I'm looking for multiple fireplaces. I'm seeing four with a two elite opener. Give me that confidence. Give me that power. I want some good cards here. Saturday's going well, though. Hopefully everyone else is having a wonderful Saturday. Same level here. Uh, here's the weekend, man. You know, living it up. Live your best life on the weekend before you, you know, for some of us go back to the office, back to school, whatever it may be. It's, just, it's nice to, I guess this is the closest thing we can get to getting away. Right, fellow office workers? If there's anyone out there that's also an office worker. Uh, you can let me know. Uh, I didn't mean to play tackle there, by the way. I was just trying to get my dialogue going here. We're a little bit of a, a, little bit of a rough start to, uh, you know, the lingo into the conversation. Uh, so I hurt myself in the process there. We're looking for zero-cost exhaust cards for this deck here today. None of these really tickle my fancy. Deal 8 damage if the enemy has goop. Trigger your old slime to attack. We can do a little bit of that. So we can go for, like, a slime-based minion build with some goop action and then... What? I'm gonna do this one because every time we have the option to do something different, it's it's cool. Um, so I gain scrap ooze locked if you reach. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna do it. Uh, scrap ooze at the start of each combat spawn scrap ooze at rest sites. You can donate a card to the scrap ooze, granting one damage for uncommons, two damage for rares, and minus two damage for curses. I'm a little confused, but this is still cool. I always am a fan of the, uh... Mods that can expand on the vanilla parts of a game are pretty enticing to me just because I'm already very familiar with what's going on. This just adds a little bit more to that. I'm I'm eager to see. We should upgrade this to be a zero cost, so when we get waste not, we won't look like a big idiot, so... Um, this will make me look like less of an idiot, and if we end up fighting Time Lord, then I'm going to be, you know, a big idiot regardless. But still, we're trying to mitigate. Dude, he's like a Frankenstein slime. I mean, I, I guess. Like, he's got like a thorn sticking out there. That's why he does so much damage. He's probably headbutting with that. He's like the Goomba from the Paper Mario game. It's like, hey, it's it's the spiky Goomba. He's gonna do more damage to you. It's just because it's the spiky Goomba. We're gonna go ahead and ice this guy here before we take any additional damage. Zero cost cards that exhaust. These are all into that category. Don't want the toxins behind dissolve. Dissolve the new one. Draw a card, then exhaust a card in your hand. Add a number of random lit cards to your hand equal to its cost. So right now it's just gonna give us one, unless we exhaust the waste not want not. It's just waste not, but like you, you know what I mean. Um And the lit cards tend to be zero cost exhaust as well. So we'll do this one here. I'm I'm curious, I probably should look what the upgraded version of this is. 
Ooh, plus one? Okay. I'd like a plus one. So if you remove a card from your deck, you modify... Okay, but I want to do this too. Let's let's work on doing the scrap. It's a scrap build, I guess. Remove a card from your deck and modify scrap Ooze's damage. You may have... The tackle. Tim? <laughs> you you read what it you need it needs to be of a, a higher rarity. So it's a means to thin our deck as well, but I didn't gain anything on that. I'm I'm very dumb. You know what? Exhaust this, give me a bunch of licks. Hell yeah, dude. There you go. That's the boost that we need. Okay, so we can also exhaust waste knot. Not gonna, not gonna say why not. Uh, more or less to you know get a big bit of good bit of burst there. It's not really what we need to do. I, I need zero cost exhausts. I do like growth punch just in general though because it is a nice little uh, boosty boy. Okay, let's try this again. Do we have anything of a higher rarity? We have growth punch. I mean, it's just a, it's, this is just a means to like scrap stuff and make the one slime much stronger. So we could go for a slime based build that does does that well. I just don't have the cards at the moment to be upgrading it. So maybe we actually just upgrade the cards we want to we want to see, you know, come to fruition. So dissolve plus it will get us going somewhat. If we can find some cards that we don't care about, we can scrap then Absolutely. We'll get that guy buffed up. Preserved Insect is a huge grab, especially before you start fighting any Elites. It sets the tone for the rest of the run. I can fight every Elite that I want. With no handlebars. No, no handlebars. I, it seemed like the right time to go for that. So here, you're gonna go for a Growth Punch. Um, we're gonna take 10. And we will heal, you know, a portion of that back just because of the slimes there, but it doesn't really count as healing back. Those, that HP is always like, you know, there to be given away. Uh, protect and serve. It's the bill. Reign of Goop. I, I need cards that I can start scrapping, I suppose. Hmm. I, I don't have to. I, I really don't have to. That's the, that's the thing. We go for serve and protect. That is uh, the bonus there. Like, ah, ah, Let's take the rain goop. Let's let's sacrifice it. I want to do the scrap build as well. I, I'm torn. There's like two options before me here, and I'm like, I want to do want to do both. That is pretty decent. Not gonna lie. So you can just come out swinging. Well, we should be coming out swinging on this guy preferably because we need to go for the uh, better split here. So gooping him up further is just gonna help us one shot him later, I suppose. Uh, it doesn't really help me right now. We'll do a growth punch. Get some additional pieces from this. That helps. And we don't have to blow our potion here. We could have. We had the choice. The option was there. Not needed. Thanks for the uh, licks we've been given. Let me do a waste knot. Yeah. Wait, that's just going to get me a bunch of junk that doesn't really help me. There's only zero cost cards. Yeah, it's just going to just gonna regoup everybody. Everybody now. Do, 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 do. Um. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna ice you. Reduce that damage. We should be able to get another six back from this. So we'll, we'll come out marginally ahead, I guess. Uh, but Marge, I, I don't know. This this wasn't a very well done uh, fight for me. I'm still trying to think what I want to do. Like I got the scrap, and then I got like the power, and you got the touch, you got the power. It's a mix between buffing up the scrap or doing the zero cost thing. And the more I'm thinking on it right now, I think I just want to go for the scrap because the whole zero cost exhausting. The options going to get out of it aren't going to be the best. He says as he gets a uh, sampling lick, which would be very good <laughs> in addition to what we're doing. It'd be extremely good, because I'm like on the verge of scrapping Waste Knot. And you know what? I still think we're going to do it, so let's actually go pivot towards a minion build then. Yeah, let's pivot towards a minion build. We'll, we'll buff, start buffing up the scrap guy. We got Vajara for like a little bit of oomph as needed. This, this seems right. This seems right. Okay, so you, you goopsters. You did not goop the individual I was hoping for. Oh, it's fine. We will still 
minion master this uh, turn. Any future guys we start summoning up are going to give us a huge benefit. There you go. Two-thirds? Yes, please. Alright, I'm just going to be honest, right now, you know, things are fine. I just, I am not feeling the deck too well. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and get rid of that. I'm not feeling the deck too, too well. Thanks to the useful slime, by the way. Um, Everything just seems really out of order at the moment and I'm trying to make it right as best I can and we got we got like too many uh, archetypes I want to hit up and you know we just got again we just got to determine something or one thing to do it's gonna be scrap loose all right so we're gonna exhaust the waste knot card ooh mass feed I do like any cards that increase like your stats by a maximum limit just from getting good uh good procs on it so this definitely falls into that category so we'll do that we'll pop over here I'm just doing it I'm just gonna do it upright straight out Boom. My boy's doing 8 damage to Smackaruski. It's gonna add up. We just need to make sure we're utilizing that on every possible node. Over for a goop. We will trigger for some additional goop procs. We're gonna get some poison stacked up. We're not gonna get some poison stacked up. We need multiple of these assets lines to get poison stacked up. We are... Who we are. God damn it. I can't... I can't get the feed proc, unfortunately. I'm off by one HP. What did I do to deserve this? Gremlin Horn from the Gremlin Bob. It's a good get. And another Dissolve. Uh, we're fine with that, because... You know what? We can use that as just another scrap opportunity. Yeah, go ahead and scrap it. I mean, we could also do feed. If, if this is the point of the deck, we really want to just be buffing them up as best we can every time. So if we can get plus two on every fireplace, by the end of the run, this guy might be doing 20 a smack. That'll be good enough for me. It'll put a smile on my face. I'll take it. So he's already doing a 10 apiece. So, you know, 14 turns or less, this guy's more or less dead. I won't exactly work out like that. There, we do need to, you know, <laughs> split this guy. So it, it more if it was a, just a flat HP guy, yes, 14 turns. Right now, it's just a little bit of... A little bit of me running my mouth as we uh, try and figure out what we're going for here. So, we'll dissolve you. Okay, give him the lick. I'm going to dissolve the coro- I'm going to dissolve the <laughs> the shield, I mean. Another bit of slime, additional slime. It's going to do 28. 43 split, that's good. And then we're going to start getting some more damage dished out. Excellent. Useful slime. I, I doubt it. Unless we get the press the attack. We did get the press the attack, and I'm going to pressure on him. Alright, good. So if my uh, strong slime could just bop one of the guys on the right, that'd be swell. Thank you very much. That also triggers Gremlin Horn. We got something here. We got an F squad here. You know, it's the NBA meme. You guys know the one. If you don't, then... I mean, I guess you just don't, then that's that. It, you know the meme, trust me. If you've been anywhere on Reddit, like any subreddit, I feel like... It bleeds over pretty well. Okay. Get the slime going. Let's go ahead and uh, bop you. And just block you and we're good to go. All right. So it's the build. We're sticking to it. We can pivot into some tackle or some strength based stuff or multi attacks with the Pajara, I guess. But ultimately it's just slime boy because he does kill at the start of my turn. So I get the bonus. Uh, draw a card, morph all cards in your hand, and they all will cost one less. On your next turn, gain three strength, three energy, and add slime crush to your hand. Mm. We're gonna take mass repurpose. We might be able to play it once before I inevitably throw it into the fire, and that is a okay. We're concerned about throwing more stuff into the scrap fire to begin with, so fusion hammer is a fine grab because we're not really going for upgrades, and we're going to the jungle, dude. The city doesn't even exist anymore. We're fighting the Mushroom Lord again. And we want triple fireplace, three elite. I, I guess I got faith, you know? I have a faith. We have the preserved insect, so everything is really easy to do. It's the first time I'm actually just fighting the spider encounter raw. Cool. Uh, let's, let's do it to this. Is this enough to get a kill? It is. Outright dusted. Is this enough to get a kill? No, but it's pretty damn close. 
That's a good start. Hey, you know, we'll give Metamorphosis a chance to get played just so we can see the benefit from it. It's, I mean, the benefit tells it uh, or does what it says on the tin. I'm just uh, hesitant to scrap my entire hand for something like that. Um, and this turn, not the greatest. It's 10 damage. We won't get a kill here. Did I... All damage it Oh! I am extremely dumb. Okay, well, we gotta do this now to preserve our HP. Uh, I, just, I just didn't read, so, you know, great mod. If you want to throw the comment at me again that I didn't read for that one, that's 100% true. That's, that's me just ignorantly just going at it and not taking the time to see what I was even doing. That one's a fair one. Yo, give him the licky. Big licks. And then we bop him. Slimes attack. We goop, and then we bop you. And then we'll bop you, and the gremlin horns just keep coming, and it won't stop coming. And they won't stop coming, and they won't stop coming. Alright. We're good to go here. Slimes are gonna dust them for me. Easy peasy. Ancient potion with the uh, dex potion. We have a little combo if we need it. Apply two poison whenever you attack an enemy who has goop. I'm gonna go for the potency. We have the summoner build. Even if we can't upgrade it, it's still worth grabbing. That's a fucking huge ass rat. The giant W rat. Two people's elbows, or I guess tentacle lashes. At burner. Hey, tell me about it, dude. So here's a chance to do a mass reproduction, and I. You know what? Let's let's just give it a try. Okay. We'll duplicate form. Gives us more energy. Double up on the block there. Get an additional slime. A little hesitant, but we still will come out ahead. Go ahead and toss away the corrosive spit. We're gonna do a potency there, so these boys are a little bit stronger. We can goop. We can goop. Split. And this will hit something that costs one at the very least. Thank you. Get another goop on it. All right. We should be able to just ice him out right here with a decent draw. Excellent. All right, and we're back to full HP. All right, you know, that worked out. Uh, it's a little scary, a little RNG madness, to be honest. So I don't know how many times I'm going to be opting into doing that. In fact, again, we're going to throw that into the fireplace. And get the strength up. Do I? I just got to play enough cards to mitigate you is how I remember it. There we go. You guys can attack the uh, Sneko cosplayer, that'd be swell, don't worry about the pendulum. Well shit, I mean, if everything's so expensive, I may as well. Alright, let's figure this out. You'll 7 damage to all enemies, enemies who do not intend to attack are struck twice, so that's not really gonna work. But we'll do that. We'll do slime brawl. That gave us some some block opportunities. We'll hit you. I don't think we swing again, because I don't want the pendulum to smack me for 10. Easy turn. Resolve the defend, because we're going to kill this guy out right here. Man, I really wish he would have just went along with the plan there. All right, one guy down. You're intending to attack still. We're just, we're just looking to get some goop action. There we go. Alright, let the slimes do the rest here. Mm. And though I say it every time, I'll say it again. Music? Still a banger. Still a banger of a tune. Alright. You know, I'm losing a lot of HP in a lot of these fights, and uh, it, just, it just regens back almost at every moment. Like, the goop really helps with the sustain. Because like, you get two goops off, all of a sudden you've done an ironclad heal. For the fight, and you can keep going. Equalize? Yeah. Again, even more sustain. And it exhausts itself. The upgrade is extremely good, too. Love you, Equalize. Oh, wait, we can't upgrade, so I really shouldn't be thinking in that vein. More? More summons. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think Pylon's gonna be good if we can get some more actual summons going here. Right now we have, like, negative summons. Go ahead and get me a... 
Trade the Clockwork Souvenir. We can utilize uh, these potions a little easier with the Clockwork Souvenir, so that'll be a little bit of the benefit we have. Uh, the Jungle Vines, you know, probably not my most favorite enemy that I fight. What happened to my... I'm, I'm processing some stuff right now. What 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 did I get rid of? What what is my artifact getting rid of? I I forget. I've already forgotten. What have I applied? Because the intent was to use this with a potion, but like, was, was it this guy? Did he give me a debuff? Like, I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'm still gaining my HP back, is what I'm seeing here. It just looks like the initial boys I don't get. No, I still should because I, I suck him up at the end. What what happened? What has changed? Very confused on what has happened. Alright, whatever. Look him up. Another 18. No, I just need to pay attention next fight, because the artifact, the, the intent was something completely different. Why am I regenning? Ugh. I don't even know anymore. Trigger all slimes to attack. Yes. And then we'll dissolve the mass reproduction. Big licks, big licks. Big punch. Okay, pay attention to the next fight. I need to see what's going on here. Okay, we'll get another pylon. We need more slimes. Let's scrap opportunity the mass purpose. Good. 12 damage smacks. Alright, free turn to scrap pylon here. You know what? Free turn to scrap equalize as well. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's an open right there. He's already down to 54 HP. Mine, they do. We started him, like, at a lower HP threshold to begin with. Still extremely good. And I didn't pay attention to what my artifact was, so you know what? Fuck it. I didn't... I didn't want to drink that. That was... That was... My baby. Alright. Still good. Just, you know, threw away additional potion that, to be honest, I wasn't really interested in using anyway, so it's fine, but like, that's just a cover up because I have no idea what just happened there, so it's it's a little bit of my my bad, a little bit uh, you know, when I'm wrong, I'm wrong situation, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, ice this guy, let's get another energy off of that. Well, yeah, that's, this is fine. Scoop him up, we got 26, so you got like 19 damage for free, and then we just bop him on the head here and we're good to go. Boom. Pay attention to what the artifact is doing, it's very important. And yes, we need some more slime, so this is good. You know, if we can get some artifacts to keep the thorns forever, that also would be nice. I'm, I'm keeping my eye, and I'm paying attention. Gain 4 temporary HP, I mean, the, I don't think I want the gourds. It removes all my defense. <laughs> For gourds. I don't... I don't agree with it. So again, mango for nothing, that's fine. Slime, we get a dream catcher. Sure, why not? And we said we're doing the elite, so let's do it. Blue man group here. The frog, or P-Rog. I didn't pay attention again to the... <laughs> to the thing. Uh, oopsie. So they're just gonna hit me, huh? Okay, just keep your uh, keep your mind open here. Oh, how many cards can they steal? Wait a minute. Non death or after being attacked three more times, dissolve is returned to your hand. At the end of your turn, dissolve is exhausted. So we need to bop this guy if we want to get our card back, uh, which we do. It has to be three attacks, so my card is now gone. Uh, okay, you're an asshole. Let's go ahead and get some additional pieces from this. I mean, killing him, he's trying to hurt you. 
Kill him, he took your shit. But I don't have enough attacks to stop these guys from just yoinking my entire deck away. And it's fine, we got the slimes to do the rest there. Uh, that's just annoying, if anything. I don't think that's a very hard fight. Here, protect the boss, prevent the next time you would be damaged by absorbing your oldest slime instead. Uh, actually not, I don't want to get my scrap slime absorbed. You have five damage, gain an energy, and draw a card the enemy has goop. It's decent, decent enough. Huge money, become cursed. I could t toss the curse away, but I'm not in the business of making the scrap slime weaker. We are running out of, uh, or we are out of gold cards, so I guess we will toss away some common cards. Just to keep buffing it up, again, I should be fishing out goldies wherever I can. Two flamingos. What is that? Uh, pay attention to the artifact. How many times are you going to tell yourself and then just not do it? You know, the answer is a lot, apparently. Just, just keep your eyes open. You know when you're gonna have combat. You'll know when you can expect it to pop. Just, just keep your eyes open. Okay. This is not a, a good turn for me. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to hit him. He's got the flame beak. All right. Even so, even so, by taking this damage, I'm not concerned. Let's dissolve Equalize. We'll get way more licks out of it. I have a bunch of licks. I do want to isolate you right now. That's a free KO. Good to go. Play Minion Master. Get some more summons going. Apply some Goopsters. All right, we're good. We're going to heal the full here. One good smack and we're good. Bada boom. Potency up. Exhaust this. Get two more licks. And get another bit of healing going on there. All right. Basically full HP. Close enough to full HP. Additional bruiser. Yes, please. It sucks that we can't upgrade the minions because that would, you know, get us a little bit more power here. Whatever minions we do have getting some potency on them is good enough. Mama Sneko. Mama Sneko, Mama Sneko. Oh, here we go. The Lord of the Goop. It's a good first hit. Of course, anytime we bop one of these, she's gonna get mad. That's that's fine. Uh, we don't have any goop applied, so leech energy is just goddamn worthless. Yeah, just extremely worthless. Uh, but most of the elite fights I'm seeing on this floor, I feel like a lot of the common fights are, are harder. Like, the lion's already annoying as hell. This guy is pretty manageable. Yeah, toss away that. We're gonna be one one tapping him here in a second, so lock it up. And then just give him the smack. One smack. Yeet. Mm -hmm. Marbles, essence of steel. I'm gonna grab form of puddle. And then I'm probably just gonna scrap form of puddle. That's way too expensive for me to ever have a chance of playing. Well, it's good to have in conjunction with a Dissolve, I suppose. Then what do you get rid of in place? Not a Minion Master. Potency? Yeah, Potency, because I mean, Minion Master does what Potency does. Kinda. No, it's not entirely true. Growth Punch? Absolutely not. Pylon? Pylon actually gives us a lot more damage as well. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just get rid of it. You know, he wasn't there before, we were doing fine. We picked him up, if we throw him away, we're basically at where we were to begin with. Alright, so this one is the fight that goes on way too long, we have issues. First time you consume goop each turn, add a random lick to your hand. Whenever you lose HP, apply two goop to an enemy and gain two block. Gain four block whenever you attack, you attack an enemy has goop. This gluttony is going to be the best one here. Come out strong, come out swinging. We'll hang out the equalize in case you want to goop that into something extra. So we will dissolve a defend. We'll dissolve pylon. No, that we have a lot of damage coming out here. Dissolve a defend. Buy the weakness. Buy the buffs, and then hit him. Because you hit him, you're gonna get another lick. 
which you can use to just keep the train going, get some poison damage, and every time we can trigger these guys to, you know, all attack, that's good. The mushrooms do slow us down. Easy turn. Rain the goop. Should have done that in a slightly different order, actually. It's fine. Get the extra energy. Double up on the block, and we applied the goop anyway, so we can get some additional damage going. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to work out. Did I still do it? I mean, yeah, I did. There we go. Gotta get that lick going. Always apply goop. Always be gooping. ABG. Also stands for Asian Baby Girl, if you've seen that video, then you know what I'm talking about. But be, always be gooping is the uh, intent. I mean, I don't really want the spores, so, you know, it's fine. Just let the goop pile on. We have a lot of minion damage. And you're dead. You're dead, kid. You'll never be shit. You're just like your father. All right, cool. A, B, G. Uh, again? Sure. Gold card to throw away. This is new. Black Heart of Goo replaces Heart of Goo at the start of your turn. Split into two random slimes. Gain one potency and gain one slime slot. That is just strictly good. I mean, it's a it's a basic relic upgrade. So yes, of course, it's gonna be strictly good. Woke Woke's gonna get really mad here. Is this strong enough to take on the heart? I don't think it is at all. So we're just gonna continue fighting a bunch of elites. And I see the path laid out before me. Two fireplaces, two more chances to upgrade our boy. Yeah, let's just do it, dude. It's not going to be a hard kill, but it's going to be an elite battle royale. We will dissolve you. We'll, we'll buff them up. Oh, wait, we can just apply everything. All right. So we're taking 15 out the gate. Not not great. In fact, uh, P bad, V bad, PV bad. Get some energy off of that. We're taking another huge chunk here, and my minions are just gonna like chew this guy up. Yeah, this is a it's a very aggressive start. We're we're hurting pretty fierce. Keep the bruiser slimes coming though. That's uh, something we do want. Uh, gluttony is pretty good. Ooh, the Dowson slime though. So I want to buy both of these just so I can have some additional stuff to throw into the fire. But the anchor is also good, so I'm gonna do it like that. Uh, deal two damage, apply two poison, heal two. I also do like that. It's just not that great. Um, I don't really want to remove anything either. We can do that on our own. Eh, skill potion, why not? Just because we're at like a third of our life doesn't mean we're in danger. It's just, you know, it's like a minor concern. We spent a lot of money, which was why, so we're good to go there. I don't know what is consuming the artifacts, though. I, I paid attention that time. I have no idea. All right, that was a good use of our goop. We will apply potency for the boys we have. If they attack the thorny boy, do I lose HP? Good. I was going to have a fit if that was going to be the case. Going to have a fit. You feel me? Decent damage. Once we uh, bop the guy on the right, we don't even have to worry about hitting the Thorn Boy. The damage will come by itself, and it's already there. Bob's your uncle. You hit him, you gain some HP, but then you're going to lose more, so just, just let him isolate himself. Good. I mean, look at that, we got like 7 HP out of that fight. Uh, I'm going to go for a Goop Spray now. I think we have enough summons on the table. We need some more uh, Goop applications. Uh, so regrettably, I am going to do it like this. Just to sustain myself up. I mean, I say regrettably, it's not that bad. It's, we can still hit this guy again for some good damage. Yeah, so that works. Uh, continue to mitigate or heal? I think further mitigation is more important. 
And you know what? Let's see what this can give us. Some more random goop. Additional bruiser. Let's get an additional bruiser on the table. Beat him up. Beat him up. So, yeah to that. And then you toss that, and you go yeah to that. And then everyone attacks again. Should have summoned my additional slime. Okay. Yeah, HP is a little concerning right now. Let's try and get that back. Another pile on is fine. Lead fight right now is concerning. He does lose a good chunk of his life, but this guy is not gonna fuck around. Need to KO ASAAP. And the fact that we got two of these acid boys so we can continue applying poison means we can throw that potion there and get a little bit more chip damage each turn. Because we're gonna need it. Guy is not gonna let us get away for free. Bruiser split. Yep, toss away that. Two big licks. And one big punch for 40. Out of orb slots, or slime slots. We need more slime slots. I'm gonna toss away the rain of goop here. Fire our own goop. Do a pylon. Heal a little bit. 70 damage. Everyone attacks again. So every time we can trigger these guys, that is just a bunch of bonus damage free. So the more pylons we can get proc, the better we're gonna... The better off we're gonna be. So yeah, look at that. That's like at least 20 or so damage. Maybe 25. I'm just too lazy to count, but it's there. So, potency. Leech him. Corrosive. Leech him again. Bop him again. This should be the last instance of big damage we take. We should be icing them here. And we are. Okay. Very concerning. We're still sitting at like the same HP threshold we were at to begin with, and we got our potion back. Uh, I'm gonna go for another form of puddle. It's upgraded, so it's somewhat playable. Winding Halls does suck. I really don't want the curse, but I could use the max HP. Do it like that. Let me pop over here. Just, you keep scrapping, dude. ABG. Always be scrapping. Blood Vial. Sure. It's another bit of minor sustain. I'll take it. Bonfire Spirits. <laughs> you can take this. Thank you. You've made my life a little bit more bearable. You've given me minus one uh, points till the end of the run here, so... That part, that part does done. Everything else, though, very decent. Alright, equalized. See you later. Poison Licks. You got it. And we're already maxed out on slime slots again. These are some good slimes, though. That's that's a lot of damage, dude. Like, holy fuck. Look at all that damage. Oh, wait, he does go in intangible in between turns, so it's really only going to amount to five damage. Still, good bit of damage. We will toss away the goop spray, and we're going to utilize form of puddle here. Apply a bunch of goop. Get some more boyos out there. Mitigate whatever damage we can. And then this turn, we just bop him. Yeah, huge bops. Douse him in the slime. Dust him out right. We're already back to max HP. Good to go. Singing bowl. We'll see. You have given me another card to throw into the fire. I am sorry. I must do that. This guy's gonna end with 18 damage overall. What do I think about that? I think that's decent for end game. For like the boss, that doesn't really help. It really just helps sort of get through these fights better because this guy is like right here in particular. 17 damage a turn. It's good. Strictly good. Uh, we will. Growth Punch, and then apply Goop for the next turn. And I don't think we pop the Goop if we don't have to. Okay, we, we gotta. We'll Leech Energy. Double Minion Master. I'll repurpose these, why not? See what we get. Morph a card in your hand. Slime Tap. Uh, let's not do either of those. Let's morph this into something. Haunting Lick. It's better. Arguably, the, of course, the vulnerability would be better saved for another turn. It's still pretty good. Some of these. Apply some goo. 28 exactly. We got Pen Nib ready next turn. A cruising. 60 damage. I do have my pylons, and that's what I was hoping to see here. Yeah, that'll crank him down to nothing. Let's get some lick supply for next turn. A poison lick, pretty decent. I think it's just gonna be one damage down next turn, more or less, it's just for the goop. 
then you can big goop. Or big goof. Um, Pylon. I, I should have, or would have liked to have got the additional, get the additional summons, I should say. Uh, it doesn't matter. There's that one tick here. He's dead. See you later, bud. It's, it's another slime. Nothing wrong with that. More shapes. Priority always going to be Explosion Man. The pylon. Everybody get in here. Cool. One dead. So it's just a freebie. 13, 5. All right. What do these guys do? The purple slimes? Applies goop. Extremely good. Nine goop for free. And it's split out. That's what I mean by, like, you, you more or less have infinite sustain when this happens, because, like, if everyone's going to have goop constantly, and, you know, you got these guys splitting up, and you have some cards like this that just trigger off of it and keep the, the good times coming, like, what's, what's the hate? Like, you see what I mean? I mean, I'm not hitting any of these guys, of course, but you see what I mean? You see what I mean, man? Alright, line them up. I think my 17 damage guy hit the guy with 2 HP. Minorly cheesed with that. It's not, it's not the end of the world. The minor cheesing. Super. Steroid potion, absolutely. Uh, I don't need any more slimes. We'll just take some max HP ups here. Reptomancer also going to be a joke once we get the slimes rolling. But we do it like this. No, you do it like this and you move it like that. Yes. Good, and then you apply the Rain of Goop, and you pile on. And we've already applied six poison a turn. This girl is dusted. She's gonna attack once, and he's gonna die. Oh, you know what, Borma Puddle? Welcome aboard. This is your time to shine. You know what, I don't even need the extra goop. Let's do it like this. Bop him. And apply some more. Dude, girl, you're dead. I even have to do anything. My slimes fucked you. Hell yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll finish her off. But dang, dude. Dang. Uh, any of these? Block equal to the enemy's goop. Not bad. Game block equal to the enemy's goop. Deal 8 damage. It's not bad. It's also not needed. Uh, last fireplace. You already know it's going to be a Scraparuski on mass repurpose. He's doing 18 damage with our summons. He gets up to like about 24 a piece. What is that like? One twelfth this guy's life every time, basically counteracting the aggression there, or the regeneration. It's good. Come to the conclusion, everything I've done here strictly good. And there are no downsides at all to the way I have played this run. In fact, I've, I would argue I played it perfectly. <laughs> there's, there's a bit of facetious, you know, dialogue there. I'm not being serious. Just, you guys know, I'm not a big ego thing. Like, it's, in fact, I have a very small ego. Uh, anyway. Uh, don't want to get rid of Pylon. Okay, apply weak to you. So this, this ensures you die. The leech energy means we can suck you. And now this ensures you die. And then we get a growth plunge going here, so that's just a bunch of damage to you. And we're looking we're looking pretty gravy right now. I do want to get all my other summons out. He is gonna get extremely strong in doing that. Or by doing that, I should say. So why are there Oh, it's the Doustin slime. Well, yeah. Two turns of free damage then. Uh, straight up, the plated armor, it was just there to be. You know, a pal, not really doing me any favors in the late game here. Okay, so... We're gonna make him a little mad, but I did this so we can, one, proc all these guys to, you know, double up on their damage there. Really would have to prefer the poison slimes right now. The, the four block slimes, you know, they're helping, they're keeping me alive, but I, I really could utilize the poison over time. Alright, and he's dead, so... Use that to heal. And now we can play Minion Master without any consequence. Rain, nothing is going to happen here, just end your turn. 43 a smack, that is enough to kill me. So now I do like the uh, mitigation we got going on. Uh, form a puddle, yep. Yeah, pretty good turn there. 
reapply everything. You know, in fact, I probably could have just piled on twice and had these guys shield me for an additional 20. That would have worked, too. Mm. 39. Okay, we won't, we won't die right now. We're pretty close, though. I'll take this opportunity just to do a billion damage, and I guess we win. All right. This was a fun run. It's something new, and it's all thanks to a random event with the Scrapoos there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Gonna not consume the heart here. Gonna do some more unlocks, though, and then eventually we'll get the heart kill. Let's see what we got. Show it to me. So we got the Goop Dweller. At the start of each combat, split into a Bruiser Slime. Good. Ooze Stone. At the start of each combat, split into a Mire Slime and gain one potency. That is very good. And Slime Plushie. At the start of each combat... Split into a Leechy Slime, gain one Slime Slot. Also good. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here before the Bedoins go off like crazy, because all I'm seeing in the chat is my friends typing the word F. I guess the letter F. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I might be doing something extra here. I don't know. I want to stream. I want to do games. I just want to relax. Whatever it may be. <laughs> I, this is not how the outro goes. Regardless, I'll see you tomorrow for the next one. Take these, everybody.